chapter, uh, we take literature, we are on chapter 15, unit 4. We have previous period we took last uh, the unit opener, and uh, now we will start chapter 15. Okay, uh, open page 325. 325, our unit, and our essential question is about freedom. Okay, yes. I'll share for you the, the slide. Teacher? Yes, dear. Teacher, by freedom, do you mean like taking everyday choices or do you mean freedom with having like the country laws or do you mean freedom with like only freedom? Because I don't get freedom, what you mean by freedom. And all of what you've mentioned here. Even freedom without laws. For them without laws. But we, did, we discussed the, the point of laws that laws are not limiting our freedom. They are just securing the community. Yeah, I get it. But when you say freedom, do you, do you mean with laws or without? You know, it differs. I mean, a person may think that freedom is like having the drugs or whatever which is against laws and yeah mm. Mm. so what, so what do you think Serene? what do you think Serene? and i think you know of course it's better having laws but i just want to understand what do you mean or what does this chapter mean by freedom freedom is when you are responsible for your actions a person is free when he can take the decision he wants, I want to show in this fuck this university. No, no, no. I want to travel abroad and study in this university. It means that I am responsible for my actions. I am responsible for the choice of my university. I'm responsible of how would I study. I'm responsible of how would I earn living. Yes. Responsible like for freedom. your actions and decisions. Yes, any freedom of your own choice. Yes, freedom in your own choices, and you can deal on with the consequences. But freedom, when I kill someone, it is a law, and and against rules of life, not even law or religions. And okay, so rules. There are some rules to protect us, not to control us. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll share now, chapter fifteen. Okay. Uh, before we yes, yes, I for forgot to tell you also that I uh, I missed the homework, the literature homework. Send it email, dear. Okay. Uh, we in, in chapter fifteen, the making connection and reviewing concepts. He will talks to you about it um, speech. So open three hundred twenty five. Three hundred twenty five. Ragat. Ragad, Sara, Ragad, Ragad, or Sara. Okay, Ahad. Miss, is it 325 or 305? No, 325. Yes, read the Ahad, 325. I read from the PowerPoint. Yeah, no, from the book you don't have it. Lean matter. Lean matter. Yeah, I told you that I don't have the book. Yes, Sarah. Yes, yeah, I'm talking about it. 325, yes, Sarah. Okay, 325. Yes, quickly read it. Okay. Um, yeah, analyze me. Purpose to watchers. Okay. Review concepts. Think about speech you listen to heard or the words. What was the speech purpose and what made that purpose clear? Write a response below. Yes. What is a speech you've heard recently, Azar? Nothing. You didn't hear any speech. So, other girls, because yes, I know you don't hear speech usually. Other girls, uh, was there any speech? Hmm? Of what? Maya? Batul? Batul, you're here. Yes. Batul, are you here? 
Bet ūrės? Mes, mes nedė. Yes, my. Which speech? 3 to 5. Yes, miss, I know, but which speech? You said that, uh, think about a speech you recently heard. Any speech you've heard. Any speech. Grade, two, uh, grade 11, no speech? Yes, hear yes, sir. So I never heard the speech. Never? Ever? What am I never, hearing? Ever. Except Martin Luther King once. Uh, and what else? Martin, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream is awesome. Didn't we hear a, a, a speech uh, what I can't in a university show us uh, a video about uh, when when uh, when uh, yes of Obama. Obama was in at the yeah. university. And what else? And I am woman. Yes, and the such yes. truth. Yeah. So uh, huh? here I mentioned two speeches I, I to this, this year. So and another speech by I don't the remember name, that she called for amendment that women were are allowed to are allowed to vote. So this is the third speech. See three speeches. So what is one speech you can remember, Yasara? Lilian Matar, what is one speech you can remember? Yes, teacher. Serena, I don't remember it here. Okay, Gala. What speech of what I've said you can remember? غلا سارة مريم شغدلي yes miss سارة what is I mean, I told you now three speeches what one which one of them you can remember um wait I think in the solitude of self Solitude to self, yes, yeah. solitude to self. This is what I wanted to remember its name. Okay, so solitude to self. What was the speech purpose? Why it was said? Why it was written? Why the woman said it? Women's right. For women's right. Excellent, Yaleen. To ask that women should have right to vote. What made it clear? What was the, the speech clear, Yaleen? You got to know that this is what she wants? Yes. Yes, okay. Write a response on page 325, and then you share your answers. We, we go to Mariam Shagdali. Mariam? Yes, sir. Can I ask about Miss, I'm making a mute, but Miss Ali Al Imam, Miss Hafi Ali Al Imam. Okay, okay. Mariam Shagdali? Budur? Budur? Mariam Shagdali? Sham Mazen? Sham Hassan? Linda? Yes, please. Read the Linda, page 326. Okay. Okay. Listen as your teacher reads an excerpt from a speech by Mahatma Gandhi, leader of the non-violent, non-cooperation -co movement for Indian independence from Great Britain. What is his purpose for speaking? Discuss your thoughts with a partner. Should I start? Yes. I have suggested yet another difficulty to withdraw our children from government schools and to ask collegiate uh, students to withdraw from college and to empty government aided schools. How could I do the otherwise? I want to gauge the national sentiment. I want to know whether the Mahom Mahomodans feel deeply. If they feel deeply, they will understand in the twinkling of, the, of an eye. 
that it's not right for them to receive schooling from a government in which they have in which they have lost lost all faith uh, and which they do not trust at all how can i if i do not want to help this government receive any help from the government I think that the schools and colleges are factories for making clerks and government servants. I would not help this, this great factory for manufacturing clerks and servants if I want to withdraw cooperation from the government. Look at it from an empty point of view, point of, point of view you like. It is not possible for you to send your children to the schools and still believe in the doctrine of non-cooperation. Speech at Madras, August 12, 1920. Yes. Previous period, what are we going to do in a free society against uh, or to oppose the unfair, just, uh, unfair rules or laws? And Nancy said a wonderful point. She said we have not to or we shouldn't use violence in order to show that we are opposing these laws. Mahatma Gandhi is uh, uh, the first example of opposing the regime of a government without any action of violence, peacefully. How? The, the British had occupied uh, India, girls, and they uh, ruled all of India and they, then divided it. And Mahatma Gandhi, with his supporters or followers, they wanted to uh, force the British occupation to get outside of India. The government was what the government's uh, faithfulness or uh, sincere, it was sincere and faithful to the English, not to the Indian. The government followed the uh, Indian, uh, the, the British Girls, I'm sorry, I have to open the door. I'm so sorry, okay? One minute. Okay, girls, I'm back. So Mahatma Gandhi wanted to stop. The government was uh, following the British uh, uh, occupation. They were not sincere to their citizen, the Indian. So what did Mahatma Gandhi do? He stopped dealing with anything related to the government. Nothing. Eat of what you plant. We plant the land, we eat what we plant. They, he even dressed like this. People wondered why you, he dressed like this. Why? Because he doesn't want to dress normal or f normal cloth that had been sued or made by the British or the government or anything related to the government. So here in this speech, he wanted the Indian to, to take off their children out of the public schools. Why? Because public schools are not following the faith of Indians anymore. So Mohandas Karmashand Gandhi, Mohanda Gandhi, was an Indian lawyer. He was a lawyer, an anti-colonial nationalist, political ethics, <coughs> who employed non-violent resistance. Non-violent resistance. But why he was a lawyer? What? Why he was a lawyer? Lawyer. A uh, lawyer. I, I heard it a lawyer. I said no. why. Don't you see the PowerPoint? No, Ms. It's stuck. Yes, we on on the first support. No, I I I, uh, I switched the page a long time ago. I turned the no, page. No, we can't see. We can't see. Can you see now? Yes. 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 Ah, yes. oh, I know this person. Yeah, I, I, I was talking, girls, I was reading and we were discussing and all of that time this present, this slide was supposed to be in front of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Mahatma Gandhi was a lawyer and anti-colonial nationalist and political, political ethics 
who employed nonviolent resistance to lead the successful campaign for India's independence from British rule and in turn inspired movements for civil rights and freedom across the world. So he, he inspired others, but he was the main reason of the Indian, okay, uh, of the British uh, evacuation of India and that India gains its independence. How non-violently, how non-violently, as I told you, he's, he convinced his followers to do not eat of the government, do not deal with the government, do not work for the government. Even the children, they do not teach or they do not study in the governmental schools. Why? So when they stop dealing with the government, they are showing their refusal to these politics, to these regimes that have been made or created by the British, not the Indian and not for the sake of Indians, but for the sake of the British. Okay. So in, in this passage, Linda, you were reading in this passage, what does he want? Yes, what uh, does he, want? he wants the to withdraw the, the children from the government school. Yes, to take them out of the government school. Thank you. Thank you, dear Lujain or Lujain are not here. Marie, why do you think, why do you think that he has uh, or he had this uh, idea. Why he wanted the people to take off the children of the, to take their children of the school, public schools. Mary, Nirvana, Nirvana, Mary, Nirvana, are not here. Rahad. Mariam, Mariam was here previous period and Nirvana was here. I'm here, miss. So Mariam, I'm calling you. Why do you want he wants to convince Indians to take off their children or to take the children of the public schools? To give which message to the government? Uh that he does not need it, that they, they can uh, uh, have freedom alone? Yes, they do not need the government. They can depend on their own. What else? They do not trust the government. To give the government a message of that we do not trust you. We will not teach our children in your schools. Why? Why? What was the reason? Of that he doesn't trust. Judy. Yes. What is the reason that he doesn't trust the schools anymore? Um, the reason he doesn't trust school anymore? Yes. Maybe because he isn't so convinced with the with the way the system of the school runs. He mentioned here in line two four six two four six eight. It's not right for them to receive schooling from a government in which they have lost all faith. They do not trust the government. How can they teach from the government? How can they study there? How can they learn there? not teach, sorry, how can they learn there? And yes. which they do not trust at all. How can you, if you do not trust me, girls, if you know that I am a hypothetical person, how would you trust me? How would you know that I'm not lying about Mahatma Gandhi? How would you know I'm not lying about these concepts of freedom? If you do not trust me, how would you learn from me? I go to the sources. Yes, but... We talk about 1920, no sources available. <laughs> I'm talking about the idea yes, itself. Yes, it's about trust. He doesn't trust, trust the British. If you do not trust the school, if you do not trust the teacher, you will never learn. Yeah. So the main point I wanted to say that how can... Uh, how can you be taught by someone you don't even trust? Excellent. How can you be taught of a person when you do not even trust him? 
So how can you be true to the government when you do not even trust it? Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> go. So related, yes, Serena. <laughs> sure, I tried sitting down, but Khalas came. No, no, go, dear, go, sorry. Okay, so um, you got it, Gracie. You yes. have to know who is Maghat Magandi and what did he do and how did he do it at this point. Okay, so uh, we don't have much of time, but uh, let's take a few of the academic vocabulary. Academic vocabulary, number one, we'll take anaphora, and I think we took anaphora before, right? Anaphora is when I repeat a sequence of words or phrases for emphasis, and it is in a speech. It's in a speech. Why in speech they repeat? For example, I have a dream for Martin Luther King. He kept saying, I have a dream, I have a dream, I have a dream. Abraham Lincoln said, with Malik toward none, with charity for all, with fairness in the right. When Hitler said, Ein Volk Ein Reich, Ein Fur. <laughs> why he repeats? Why, why he repeats? To ensure things. Excellent. To emphasize the meaning. Repetition emphasizes the meaning. An afra is used in speech. Because we will take speech, we are convincing other people to do something. We are persuading. To, so when I repeat, to emphasize. So examples of an afra. Each time I leave the house, I see piles of trash. Each time I leave the house, I smell the fumes in the air. Each time I leave the house, I wonder how to solve the neighborhood's many problems. Each time I leave the house, each time I leave the house, is an anaphora, is a repetition of some words and phrases in order to emphasize. Number two, claim. Claim in a speech, in the speech of Mahatma Gandhi now, the claim was what? Uh, uh, empty government schools withdraw our children from the government schools and to ask college students to withdraw from the college, those who study in college? No, in general, what happens after the, they took, took their children out of uh, oh, school? Oh, what that they stopped wearing of the government, they stopped eating of the government and eventually Britain has divided India into India and Pakistan and left. But oh, after so India divided, and Pakistan was were one. Yes, and then the English occupation divided into two parts, the Indian and the Pakistanian. And Pakistanian was the Muslim one. India was full of many uh, religions. Oh, okay. Okay. But uh, and then so India so because Pakistan, of him, yani, uh, Britain uh, went out, what? gave up, and because of him, Britain gave up. Not only him, he was the seed. Yeah, he was, was a spark, like Martin Luther King. He was a spark, like Ma Rosa Parks. She was a spark, yeah. the spark that enlights a fire. <laughs> yes. So claim is the st to state something as a truth. My, sen my claim, my claim is that he wants to take off the children of the public schools. An example of a claim, the government's immigration policies are not fairly enforced, and then we discuss it. With the claim, I have counterclaim, and remember argumentative essay? Counterclaim with argumentative essay? What is an counterclaim to state, to, to this the truth of a claim to show that the claim is not correct. Claim and counterclaim. Counterclaim is to disprove it. An example of counterclaim is my opponent says that unemployment has increased. However, it has actually decreased by 17% this year. Ways of a counterclaim. One viewpoint is many people think or support or argue or claim. On one hand, or there is some support for the idea that or granted, some might argue or support or believe. It could be argued that. So these are ways of writing a counterclaimers. 
A counterclaim is a statement that disproves the truth of a claim to go to the refute. Refute is to disprove it and deny it and contradict it, to prove it. Prove that it's not correct to refute the claim that unemployment has been increasing. We will create a graph that shows how in unemployment has steadily declined over the past 10 years. Ah, so I have a claim. I present my claim. I mention the counterclaim and I refute the counterclaim. Others might argue that this is the encounter claim. Others might argue that encounter claim. But uh, in the <laughs> because we do not use I, but that their claim or evidence is invalid, irrelevant or insufficient. And I say, well, yes, dear. It's a review to counter claim the same meaning, Kenny? Refute is, yes, yeah, yes. Refute is to support the, the, the counter claim. To, to disprove any, I have a claim. I have a counter claim to refute the claim. To show that the, the other, not my claim, of course. Remember an argumentative essay. I, I, okay, I want uh, them, but I will not say I. That I will, I will say in an uh, argumentative essay that uh, Indians should withdraw their children of the governmental school. Others might say or argue that there will not be a chance to teach our children, to teach children and uh, their children at schools, and they will miss and they will be ignorant. But there should be another uh, solution as if we can. So this is I'm refuting. Showing that it is not correct. Whether I want to refute a claim or refute a, a counterclaim, but basically in our argumentative essay, I mentioned my claim, then I mentioned the encounter claim, the counterclaim and I refuted. Uh, we uh, that uh, teachers could uh, gather or uh, hire or rent another place and teach there up to their laws or up to their faith or up to the Indian faith, faith not to the British rules and British faith and beliefs. So these are related to each other. I am right is my claim. You are wrong is counterclaim. And here is why is the refute. Claim, what is your argument to the reader? What do you believe? Counterclaim, what would someone disagrees with you say? Refutation to prove that the counterclaim is not correct. I am right, claim. Teacher. You are wrong, counterclaim. Here is why, refutation. Teacher, I didn't understand this part. Okay. When I write an argumentative essay, I have my opinion, right? Is the yeah. claim that I would say? The claim that I would say that uh, the government should open more hospitals for citizens. This is my claim. But okay. other might say I have to mention an argumentative essay. What not might others say? I will tell you what I'm writing to my father to let me go to the trip. My claim is, please, father, let me go to the trip. OK, I know that my mother doesn't agree, so I tell him what. And my mother might say that I haven't finished my homeworks, but here is my homework. I finished it all. I'm refuting her counterclaim. My counterclaim is I want to go to the trip. I finished everything. Counterclaim, my mother doesn't agree because I haven't finished everything. My refutation, here is my homework. I finished it all. Understood, Yagala? Yes, yes, I understand. Yeah. Academic vocabulary will be repeated next period, because next literature period. Okay. Okay. So we finish now, and I yeah. see you after tomorrow, inshallah. Bye. Bye. Bye.